Hello everyone, I'm Santiago Santiago and today I'm gonna be testing Borderlands 3 on the GTX 750Ti. To skip to any of the resolutions tested, check the timestamps down in the description. So first of all, the game has a DirtX 11 and DirtX 12 option. DirtX 12 is listed as a beta feature, but I got an infinite loading screen when selecting it. So the video will be DirtX 11 only until DirtX 12 is no longer on the beta stage. In case you got into that infinite loading screen, try editing the config file in documents to switch back to DirtX 11. In the options menu, the fastest way to improve the frame rate was to lower the material complexity and volumetric fog. Lowering those two is already a pretty decent performance improvement. If lowering them to the lowest isn't enough, then I will lower the rest of the options together, since by themselves they didn't usually make much of a difference. In the material complexity option, I quickly saw less complex terrain and game objects. It seems to control desolation, but at least in my opinion the game still looks good without it. The volumetric fog option, on the other hand, can make the game look very different in some areas. It adds a lot of depth. Personally, I don't mind disabling it due to the performance improvements by G2U. There's also a small increase in FPS if you go from temporal anti-aliasing to FXAA. On the CPU side, the game was kind of a mixed bag. On the AMD card, a quad-core CPU didn't have spikes to 100% usage, but there were still some annoying stutters. On the Nvidia cards, on the other hand, I got multiple spikes to 100% CPU usage, which happened just before a stutter showed up. So yeah, it seems to be using more CPU on the Nvidia side and more VRAM and system RAM on the AMD GPUs side. About the stutters, the game has a lot of it. I don't really know what's causing it exactly. It happened on all the systems I tried, from a 750 Ti to a 1660 Ti. I tried switching from an i3-9100F to an i5-9400F and I still got stutters in similar places. Hopefully once our text wall works, I can do a comparison to see if it helps. But right now it's super noticeable when playing due to how frequent it is. And there's a lot of people complaining about it even on the consoles. In this test, I'm going to show you both gameplay and the benchmark tool. I think the one in this game is a good stress test. In the gameplay portion, I'll be fighting some enemies since that's how I got stutters more easily. And then one of the heavy parts of the benchmark tool. So yeah, to sum up, material complexity and volumetric fog are the first things I would lower. The game stutters no matter where I throw at it. Dartex 12 gives me an infinite loading screen, so I'll be testing it once it works. And finally, a modern quad-core CPU can run it at 60 with stutters, but they still happen on higher-end CPUs. Anyway guys, that's about it. I hope you keep enjoying the video, thanks for watching, and see you next time!
be singing songs about that one. Don't get between me and my gun, heretic! Ferocity is my middle name. Zane Ferocity Flint. I come. Before you get hurt. Oh, finally, my reward.
Still got it. Sir Hammerlock, I require you to hunt and kill things for me. You see, the borderlands are full of rare and dangerous specimens. I will pay you top dollar for their trophies. Lavender Crawley is the matriarch of the Crawley family, a bloodline of particularly snooty varkids. She must die. 